okay now time to update events so uh, in order to update event we do same thing uh, session start and check for if there is a access token and here we're getting the time zone so I'm using the carbon as a built this is the built-in uh, which made uh, dealing with date and time really really easy okay so mm, so I'm parsing the current date time into the RFC 339 string so this is the format Google Calendar API supports so RFC 339 is uh, this format okay so we are uh, making that format format here so we are uh, putting the event duration 30 minutes so if end date is supplied we'll use that as an end date and otherwise we'll uh, we'll add 30 minutes or event duration to this start date okay so after that uh, we'll get the event okay with event id which we'll be passing here with request okay so we'll get that and we'll set the title description and uh, start date time so what we are doing is by initializing the service calendar event date time and then we are setting date time to the start date which we have put in this variable and after uh, this start object called that date time we are passing that to our event okay so set start so same thing for end time so after that we are updating event with this update method okay so event is successful if that is updated uh, successfully so we can put here updated event okay so in this case if that is not uh, updated successfully we'll throw the error otherwise we'll say success and we'll pass the updated event in our data okay so similarly for deleting so this is the same step as previous so only different is this service and events and delete the with id okay so okay now let's test this okay so let's use postman and here okay so uh, you can go to localhost api calendar and send the get request okay so you are getting the events okay so first time you might not get this you need to allow okay so you can do that inside your chrome and after that you can operate here so mm, yeah so these are the events okay so now let's update uh, them so in order to update them we have to uh, pass the patch request to the same uri with id so for example we want to update the last uh, okay so this event um, so we has got id this okay so that is the second last event it's got id this and summary this okay hydrogen so let's change that so i'll pass the id here and i will pass the uh, okay so i will change that to calcium okay so for now uh, the, let's just just pass the title okay so we pass that here raw you can pass in form data but it's safer okay so uh, after that so we're uh, doing the request to that uri with the id the id of event which we want to update now we send that and yeah we get success status and so that it changed to calcium okay so now let's uh, delete this event okay same event so in order to delete just change uh, this to delete Okay, so we'll be deleting this calcium event 
and let's send that okay so we get uh, we do not get any error that means we have successfully deleted that okay let's just check by sending get request and we'll see yeah so there is no event with calcium so that is uh, deleted so our this uh, API is working so create read update and delete are uh, working fine so next uh, we'll use the front-end client to make our calendar app okay so that's all for now bye